nowhere else to go. They have come out of the fields, their hands calloused, colonies of microscopic bacteria living under their broken fingernails, their backpacks filled with the last of their motivation to work, to live, to do whatever it takes for a room, a bed, a blanket, a meal. Their eyes brown, shallow orbs, searching for shelter, searching for safety, searching for a place to call home when home closed its doors, when the gatekeepers killed and maimed their families, their sons, their daughters, their mothers, their fathers, their sisters, their brothers. When home died, shot through the head randomly, when no one was looking. They have come with their dogs, companions of the road. They move, always on the move, sliding down the streets on boards with wheels, gliding through space when we're not there. They move from north to south, from east to west, vagabonds, hitchhikers to nowhere, travelers with no guidebooks, young people looking for meaning on streets paved with disappointment. Their future died. Foster care failed. Institutional apathy played tricks with their lives. Unwanted, unloved, unbelievable. They sit on the islands of last chances, holding cardboard signs, childish crayon words, spelling out their cries for attention, asking for help, asking for handouts, asking for answers. They have come with their wheels, large vehicles of recreation. We don't see them, but they're there, inside the coachman, inside the Starcraft, inside the Winnebago, inside the rusted steel land yard yachts parked on our grand boulevards. The windows sealed, silver gaffer tape repairs, cracked, dislodged, fenders, tires bald, bursting at the seams, paint peeling generators on. These toys of cherished road trips, once grazed on the beauty of our prized natural splendor, a spot in Yellowstone to gaze at a geyser, a campsite on the rim of the Grand Canyon, a sojourn through the giant sequoias, a trip to Yosemite. Those vacations now a distant memory faded like the paint on their crumbling aluminum siding. Their usefulness now, usefulness now counted in nights of shelter rather than postcard locations. They have come with their bicycles. Trailers attached, bundles of things, a collection of all their worldly goods, of all their stuff, of all their fears, all their sighs, all their demons. Blue tarps cover their spots. Under bridges, next to freeways, along the rivers, beneath a pier, anywhere they can rest, get out of the elements, crawl into their tents, crawl out of society, crawl away from themselves and the voices they hear telling them to give up. They populate the spaces of our collective conscience. We see them, we see them, we see what has gone wrong, we see how we have failed, we see the dream can easily turn into a nightmare. They have come with no shoes, nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, their bodies still, still alive, still breathing, still there, their bodies chapped, blistering, bloated, they lay on the street, just there and there. They have stumbled. They have fallen into the deep, dark cracks of our disregard, testing the limits of our humanity. They have come to the city. They have come to us. They have come to Los Angeles with nowhere else to go.